uh, Andrew, thank you very much for, for, for talking to us. Um, I've been in that situation. You give a goal away, uh, which starts the game off. C can you in any way try to sort of explain what happened in that situation? To be honest, I have to, I have to look back what, what happened. No? And um, of course, mistake is part of life of goalkeepers. But um, I'm happy for the effort of the team because um, we work hard today. It was not an easy game. And while well, I, um, I have to assume the responsibility now, I think we lost this game because of me. And the goal, uh, the mistake I make, the goal we concede, <sighs> came in a bad moment. No? I think we were, at that time we were in control of the game. And after that, that goal, we, we fall down because of that. It's not an easy situation. But it's time to, um, to accept the, and be responsible for everything. We are big men, not easy situation, work hard and keep believing because we are Manchester United and uh, we have to be able to go everywhere, try to, to do our best, of course. Um, things should happen in life, but uh, yeah, I think uh, we, that mistake cost us the victories because of me, we didn't, we didn't win today. Okay. You literally answered every one of my questions, so thank you very much for that, and thank you for, for, for coming in and talking about it. Okay, you're welcome. I'd like to follow up with you about the, the Andre Onana interview that we just saw as well in this part. Um, uh, we heard the story that he had requested to speak to you. Can you kind of give us some more context how that came about? Yeah, um, first of all, I really have to apologize because I had so many other things I wanted to ask him. but. Uh, we're here in, in it's called the flash zone and players are coming in and they have no patience so if you want to speak to the players you requested you have to do it when they're here and Harry Kane was coming in and <laughs> obviously he was stood here waiting for eight minutes to speak to you guys so I had to and and, and be, you know I'm looking at Andre when I'm interviewing and and all I can see is my floor man you're going like this no stop it stop it stop it so there's so many things I wanted to ask him because it is a difficult situation and and uh, I've actually just uh, just before I came on here I uh, I saw him as he was leaving and and he is so sorry he is so down about this goal and he's saying stuff like you know if that goal hadn't happened we would have won the game it's my fault and and the thing about being a goalkeeper, you will always make a mistake that's going to cost a goal. You just don't know in what game it's going to be and how costly it's going to be. Uh, but the art of goalkeeping is that you take that very moment it happens, you take it, put it in a box, and you never think about it. Because if you do think about it, it will happen again, and it will happen very, very soon. And I think collectively, as a Manchester United team today, they didn't put it in a box. They didn't put that mistake. They didn't put going one nil down in a box. And therefore, very soon after that, they went two nil down. But he, you know, in all fairness, he, the, 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 uh, the uh, Manchester United press people came here and said, Andre wants to speak to you. And I said, yeah, fine, of course, bring him in. And, and he's standing up. You know, he, he made a mistake. You know, he wants to speak about the mistake. He wants to take responsibility. And I think that's, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, it shows character. And, and, you know, before I said, you know, that was missing from the game. Of course, he, he didn't show great character in the game. But it shows that there is something there to be built up. See uh, how he's won on. Peter uh, over? Yeah, P Peter, you, you mentioned there about, like, having no leaders. But we were told a lot last season, let's not forget that, Martinez had come in, Casemiro had come in. They added some backbone. They were leaders. Anana's come in. You can see he's a big personality. I mean, this is a team, when they're on the travels, when you need leadership more than ever, who conceded seven last season at Anfield, conceded six at Manchester City, conceded three at Arsenal in the last two, two, two times they've been there as well, and they conceded four in Munich. Where is the evidence of that backbone that we were told that Manchester United had last season? Yeah, exactly. You, you know, I, I, I don't really know what to say there. I have, I, I have the same frustration. I see the same thing. Um, that it, it's not, if, you, if you want to compete in the Premier League or you want to compete in the Champions League, it's not enough to be good, uh, be good at, uh, at Old Trafford. It's not enough. We know that. You've got to win games away from home. You've got to, you've got to not concede so many goals. Um, so, again, I, I asked Ten Hag, you know, what's your priority? What is it you want to do in the next couple of days? And, and you know, he's, he's a shrewd character. You know, he, 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 you have the subject here, and he's talking out here. Uh, he has so many things he needs to do with this, this squad of players. There are, there's some talent in there, there's no doubt about that, but he needs to work on, 
on, uh, on the mentality there. They need to be stronger, absolutely. You cannot go 1-0 down early in a game. Is it, was it 28 minutes? I mean, there's still a lot of time to play. You can't go 1-0 down and then the game is over. That, that's not on, and it's not on for a club like Manchester United. Yep, amen. Appreciate you, you being so candid, Peter. Good to see you as always. We'll see you uh, hopefully next match day. Yeah, and hopefully that's going to be a Manchester United at Old Trafford and it's going to go a little bit better than it did today. And nice to see you guys as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. you. See you later, thank take you, care. Thank God you. bless you. Oh, one thing, TT, <laughs> congratulations. What? What's up? Just congratulations, TT. What a performance by your team today. Oh, oh, thank you. Wow. Oh, I like that. Oh, wow. Woo. <laughs> I don't do, I then, don't do much. I just support them, but thank you. Yeah, I know, but you know, it's your team. You thank love you. that team. Thank you. Jamie loves that team from the European League. That's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank You'll you. You'll be in there in a few weeks, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we're still in the Champions League, Jamie. Still. <laughs> Good night, Peter. Good to see you. Good night.